Welcome back to our hive. <clears throat> back to our questions. We missed a day yesterday, but um, we'll make it up. Today we're going to talk about ripe fruit. Uh, and shout out to Chaos Creek. Thank you for your extra pears that uh, the bees on your property pollinated. They are delicious. Thank you again. Um, so we talked about do bees do well in uh, fruit country like wherever you have orchards and things like that um, and you can go back and watch the video on that. The follow-up question to that is do bees work on ripe fruit and spoil it? So this time of year sometimes you'll see honeybees at farmers markets and things like that and they'll be going on uh, the produce basically things that have uh, sucrose, fructose, and glucose. Um, Let's see what they say. They say, if the skin of the fruit has been punctured by some other insect or by birds, it is true that the bees will work on the pulp and the juice of the fruit thus exposed. But such fruit would be unfit for market anyways. Hence the bees, after all, do not do any real harm. Uh, bees by themselves cannot possibly puncture the skin of the fruit. Sound fruit, if kept carefully guarded from birds and other insects, will be untouched by the bees. This has been demonstrated over and over again. So, this leads us into something else. Um, we, recently did, we, we do posts all the time about uh, feeding bees, uh, like other than blooms. And um, you guys can check out our Facebook page or Instagram page, Napa Bees, to see those kinds of posts. But, um, and we'll do more posts here videos like that but the idea is if the bees do go to some of these that fall off the tree that are over ripe that other birds and insects and, and things pierce I mean that is a that's something that's kind of naturally occurring the challenge then becomes like do we go out of our way to provide them this type of food um, particularly <clears throat> like watermelon, right? Uh, you'll see lots and lots of beekeepers feeding watermelon. They'll just break open watermelons and put them in front of the hives this time of year. Um, yeah, the bees will consume it. Um, there's pros and cons to whatever action that you do with a beehive. So, um, I don't know. Have any of you guys ever fed watermelon? Have you seen good things, bad things? On Facebook, I've seen both sides of things to where uh, it has made the bees sick. Um, the watermelon has spoiled inside the combs. Um, but on the other hand, I've had beekeepers, you know, post that, you know, the bees ate it and there wasn't any problem. So the challenge is, do you have enough bees to actually work that juice that fruit juice um, if you don't and they're bringing it in and they can't dry it down fast enough then you can have um, possibly levels of fermentation inside the cone and that can cause uh, problems with the bees so hope you like this one the bees will be on all your produce uh, spoil things um, because there's not very many things available this time of year the goldenrod is just starting uh, smart weed, swamp weed is going as well. Um, and there are a handful of other things, but if you live in a city, you're not going to have goldenrod, you're not going to have um, swamp weed necessarily. Um, so be careful feeding your bees uh, produce.